but our guests really don't like walking very far to bins. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and Pine Brook Sanctuary. I hope you are all good. We are going to decorate the exhibit walkways in this episode. What I will just have a look is I believe we have just had an otter baby. So let's just see if we can find them. <laughs> um, I don't know any, how many we've had, but we have had a baby. Oh, there's a little something in here. Here we are. Ah, here is our little otter baby. Look how sweet. I think it's so, so funny how they just how they run. There we are. See, I said it wouldn't be very long until we had one, so that's exciting. So we have a little boy, so let's go over to our animals and just have a look to see if there is any other one. Nope, just one boy. But we can release these. So that one there, that one there. Or they start getting upset. Oh, okay, so we're going to quick trade and we get 1,600. That we are now in quite a good place for our money. I would really like to decorate this, these walkways today, um, just to try and get them up and looking a little bit nicer because I think the entrance is looking really nice at the moment. So overall, we are doing okay. I put in a couple of other shops over there and a cup and one more toilet because the guests were walking quite far all the way over here just to go to the toilet again. Yes, we still need to decorate a few places, but it's okay, we've got plenty of time to get that sorted. Let's just cover this in a minute because there's a path missing there. We mix in some sand. So let's take a look at marketing then. So low impact, high impact and diverse appeal. So I'm thinking for now, should we put on a low impact? Yeah, let's do a poster low impact for now. We'll have that on, re on renew. And then once we are in a little bit more money and we have more guests coming in, we can put on something else as well. Maybe a high impact or one of the diverse ones. So that'll be exciting. So we have our little tiny guests over here really enjoying the new update for the new children's education. I think I'll put some more over there in our exhibit walks as well. But our guests really don't like walking very far to bins. Like there's one, there's one here and there's one there, but yet there's some litter dropped right here. So we'll put one right in front of it. Uh, I do also want to put some benches in because we really don't have any benches at all. And we, oh, maybe we could put some plants in here, actually. Um, maybe like a tree or something. Yeah, what do we think about that? That's quite nice. Move that one over there as well. Just like that. Frames the exit and the entrance quite nicely, I think. Okay, we really don't have much animal or zoo maintenance to kind of do. So let's just get straight on with the exhibits and get them all decorated and looking nice. So I will catch you in a moment.
everybody. It's starting to come together quite nicely. So let me show you the exhibit walk. So here are, let's get a bit closer actually. So here are the exhibits. We've got a little shelter and we've got some little sunflowers and some lights and some general decoration up on the top. We've got a little um, air vent and then behind here we have just some steps and some kind of doors um, that the keepers can kind of open up if they need to to get the exhibit animals out. In here is their little education speaker so they get in their reading education as well as speaking education so that is always good um yeah and they, they look exactly the same all the way down so it's all built on the grid so you can just grab hold of it and then duplicate it so i thought that's going to be really handy for us so i did put in a couple more exhibits so in here we have i i, I don't know if i'm going to be saying this right but it's that axolotty I think at the moment we've only got one in here because there isn't a male. Oh, now there is. Perfect. Let's put that one in there. Oh, no. It's a bit trading. This one here and then send straight to the zoo and there you go. Perfect. That's all done. We come down here and we just have the children's education spread out everywhere really. Um, some benches. We've got the little bug hotel which is really cool. And then some more exhibits on the right, some conservation boards. I put in some music, but you can't turn the music level down and it's so loud. I don't know whether that's because there's two at the same point. Let me move them. Hmm, I don't know. It's still a bit loud, but so there's the tables and uh, just a little umbrella, some more conservation and exhibits. And I've tried to kind of mirror it exactly the same over this side. So you've got your music and you've got your same education boards. And you've got your hotel. And then it comes down here and then you're walking up to the bridge and to the giant otters. Now I think that is coming together really, really nicely. and. If you look at it from above now, it doesn't look so empty, this zoo now. We've just got a few little bits and bobs that we need to do that are on the list to get sorted. But other than that, I think it's going really well. So, thank you so much for watching everybody. I'm going to leave this episode here. Leave some comments if you would like. Let me know if I've missed anything, if there's anything that you're really looking forward to seeing. Oh, look, someone's using the bridge. If you're really looking forward to seeing something or an animal in particular, let me know and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.